what up everybody this is your boy tech g back with another video to give you some tech news that you may or may not be able to use so we got to talk about this artificial intelligence it seems like every single video i see on my timeline is talking about ai every news story is talking about ai it's just ai is just all over the place right ai is doing everything from helping us find romance apparently for some lonely people out there it's helping us make investment decisions it's acting as customer service i just seen one video where they're talking about using AI to help do surgery. All types of stuff is going on with AI. But out of all the AI stories I've been seeing, this one is probably the most intriguing one to where they're talking about AI is getting to the point where it can actually start reading your mind. Like we're actually going down this path of Tom Cruise's minority report type of stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and check this story out real quick. All right. So this is coming from the New York Times. It says AI is getting better better at mind reading. In a recent experiment, researchers used the LLM or the large language model to translate brain activity into words. Article says, think of the words whirling around in your head, that tasteless joke that you wisely kept to yourself at dinner, your unvoiced impression of your best friend's new partner. Now imagine that someone could listen in. It says on Monday, scientists from the University of Texas at Austin made another step in that direction. In the study, published in the Journal of Nature Neuroscience, the researchers described an AI that could translate the private thoughts of human beings by analyzing fMRI scans, which measures the flow of blood to different regions in the brain. It says already researchers have developed language decoding methods to pick up the attempted speech of people who have lost the ability to speak and to allow paralyzed people to write while just thinking of writing. But the new language decoder is one of the first to not rely on implants. In the study, it was able to turn a person's imagined speech into actual speech and when subjects were shown silent films, it could generate relatively accurate descriptions of what was happening on screen. Article goes on to say, this isn't just a language stimulus, said Alexander Huth or Huth, or however you say his name, a neuroscientist at the university who helped lead the research. He says, we're getting at meaning, something about the idea of what's happening and the fact that that's possible is very exciting. I don't know exactly how exciting this could actually be for somebody to peep into somebody's brain and start reading their thoughts, but apparently this is where we are headed, ladies and gentlemen. It says the study centered on three participants who came to Dr. Huff's lab for 16 hours over several days to listen to The Moth and other narrative podcasts. As they listened, an fMRI scanner recorded the blood oxygenation levels in parts of their brains. The researchers then used a large language model to match patterns in the brain, activities to the words and phrases that the participants had heard. It says large language models like OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's BARD are trained on vast amounts of writing to predict the next word in a sentence or phrase. In the process, the model creates maps indicating how words relate to one another. A few years ago, Dr. Huff noticed that particular pieces of these maps are so-called context embeddings, which capture these semantic features or meanings or phrases could be used to predict how the brain lights up in response to language. It says in a basic sense, said this doctor right here who was a neuroscientist at Osaka University who was not involved in the research, he says brain activity is a kind of encrypted signal and language model provides ways to decipher it. In their study, Dr. Huth and his colleagues effectively reversed the process using another AI to translate the participants' fMRI images into words and phrases. The researchers tested the decoder by having the participants listen to new recordings and seeing how closely the translation matched the actual transcript. Since almost every word was out of place in the decoded script, but the meaning of the passage was regularly preserved, essentially the decoders were paraphrasing. So here is the original transcript and what was decoded from the brain. So the original transcript states, I got up from the air mattress and pressed my face against the glass of the bedroom window, expecting to see eyes staring back at me, but instead only finding darkness. Now, what they decoded from the brain is this. I just continued to walk
walk up to the window and open the glass. I stood on my toes and peered out. I didn't see anything and looked up again. I saw nothing. So this thing isn't 100% accurate as of yet, but that's a pretty doggone close description of what was actually being stated in the mine. Article goes on to say, while under the fMRI scan, the participants were also asked to silently imagine telling a story. Afterward, they repeated the story aloud for reference. Here too, the decoding model captured the gist of the unspoken version. So here's the participant's version. He says, look for a message from my wife saying that she had changed her mind and that she was coming back. The decoded version is to see her for some reason. I thought she would come to me and say she misses me. Says finally, the subjects watched the brief silent animated movie again while undergoing an fMRI scan. By analyzing their brain activity, the language model could decode a rough synopsis of what they were viewing, maybe their internal description of what they were viewing. So they're watching silent movies, taking in the images, and this AI machine used in conjunction with the fMRI, whatever the heck this thing is, is actually decoding what they're seeing by studying the way the blood travels in the brain and sparks up and all this scientific mumbo jumbo stuff that's going on. Says the results suggest that the AI decoder was capturing not just words, but also meaning. Language perception is an externally driven process while imagination is an active internal process. And the author showed that the brain uses common representations across these processes. The article says Greta, who was a neuroscientist at MIT, who was not involved in the research, said that that was the high level question. She says, can we decode meaning from the brain? In some ways, they show that yes, we can. This language decoding method had limitations. Dr. Huth and his colleagues noted, for one, fMRI scanners are bulky and expensive. Moreover, training the model is a long, tedious process. And to be effective, it must be done on individuals. When the researchers tried to use a decoder trained on one person to read the brain activity of another, it failed, suggesting that every brain has unique ways of representing meaning. Then it finally says participants were also able to shield their internal monologues, throwing off the decoder by thinking of other things. AI might be able to read our minds, but for now, they will have to read them one at a time and with our permission. All right, there you have it, folks. So we have artificial intelligence that is reading people's minds. Of course, the technology is far from where they envision it going. But rest assured, within the next five to 10 years, ladies and gentlemen, five to 10 years, we will see AI reading people's brains. I mean, we already have Elon Musk out here with his Neuralink trying to put microchips in people's brains so that they can connect to a Tesla or something like that. I don't know. But we will get there. And the reason we're going to get there is because we have a bunch of weirdos out there, in my opinion, who want to get there. They want to be connected to the matrix because that's all this, in my opinion, is really setting us up for. You know, when you combine Neuralink, AI, and AI that can read brains, and then Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse, and all this other goofy stuff that takes place on social media, I believe they're all setting us up to exist inside of the matrix. Plug that little thing into the back of our heads and go into the matrix. That's where I think this is all headed. And within five to 10 years, do not be shocked if you see something on the market, whether it's for scientific purposes, military purposes, or even civilian purposes to where they actually have some type of artificial intelligence that allow you to read the thoughts of people. Then once that happens, I can only imagine the possible chaos that might ensue where people are running around with literal tin <laughs> where people are running around with literal tin foils covering their head to try to block the freaking signals from reading their brains because they're thinking some crazy stuff about their co-worker or their family member or life in general. Who knows? But anyway, that's the news. Hopefully you can get something out of it or not. But AI is getting better at reading minds, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button, share button, drop a comment. Also, if you're thinking about getting into IT, go visit my playlist. I got IT Fundamentals. A plus, net plus, security plus classes where I'm trying to get you all edumacated out in these streets so that you can start a career in IT and cybersecurity. And with that, I will highlight y'all on the next video. Peace.